Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Teshordo. Today I'm going to be doing part four of what KOTOR can bring to Swoga, or what Knights of the Old Republic can bring to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And that's characters, ships, etc. Now, I do want to mention a few things. First off, uh, some of this video is going to be talking about Mandalorians, because every there's a lot of people that have been wanting the Mandalorian faction in. Uh, just because it's kind of a third middle faction between Jedi and Sith, but that's, you know, they either fight against Jedi or fight against Sith. Most times they fight against the Jedi, but there's always times where they fight against the Sith as well. So, you can say both. So, um, I will say this though, I have some interesting ideas for this first one, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we have Kandor Sordo. Yes, he would be the uh, last of the list. I've already covered Kartho Nasi and Juhani. Uh, I will link the description of the previous uh, videos, or uh, post a link in the description below of the other videos that I've done of Kotor, um, what Kotor can bring to Swoga in parts one through three. But, of course, we've already have, again, Juhani, or Jolie, Bastila, HK, T3, Mission, and Zalbar, as well as the Jedi version of Revan, which would be the light side completion of KOTOR 1. But now we have some other characters to add. Yes, I've already covered Karth and Juhani, but now we got Candrus Ordo. Will we see Candrus Ordo make a come into Galaxy of Heroes? I hope so. Hopefully in the next six months they do something really cool and unique. I feel like uh, after they do some Clone Wars era stuff, I feel like the beginning of the year, the normal Sith month, we could actually have a starting of a Mandalorian month. That'd be kind of cool. Or at least March we do that. But Mandalorians are huge. And they, they are actually a faction, just like Scoundrels, that would be both dark and light. Of course, Candrus here would be dark side. So yeah, we'd have Candrus Ordo. He's the one that actually helps you get off Terrace before it's bombed on KOTOR in Knights of the Old Republic, the first one. Um, and of course, later on, you'll run into him again in Knights of the Old Republic 2, where he becomes Mandalore the Preserver. I feel like one of the best ways to incorporate this character is, yes, marquee event, the first one, Candrus Ordo. But then you do some sort of journey event for Mandalore the Preserver. I feel like he's one of the high Mandalores. He has got Mandalore Ultimate, Mandalore Indomitable. You also have Legend side of it, Django and Boba Fett being really notable Mandalores. But Kander Sordo, he's a Mandalore the Preserver. He preserved the Mandalorians. He brought them back. It was also thanks to the idea of Revan as well. Uh, if you read the book Revan, so definitely check that out. But yeah, Mandalore the Preserver, huge, I, great idea to have him come into the game. And again, I feel like he should be a journey character, needing like the KOTOR 1 Ebon Hawk crew members, as well as Revan, just to unlock Mandalore the Preserver. I think that would be a really cool, unique aspect for this character. And it would be one of the few characters that could actually become... Or that can, I feel like would be a legendary, or not a le not just a legendary, but a journey character, and he would have so so much great things going for him, and he could have both bonuses for facing off against Jedi and Sith. Um, also, just a note, a side note, Mandal or Candrus Ordo, uh, Kotor One variant was also a bounty hunter at that time, working for Davit King, so he could have some bounty hunter Mandalorian synergy. So yeah. Um, next would be Bendix Starkiller. In KOTOR 1, you face him if you actually go through the uh, the battle ring arena rings thing. I feel like Bendark Starkiller makes sense for just some sort of like lieutenant-esque Mandalorian. He doesn't need a leadership. He'd just be one of those four base, uh, basic, special, special, unique, or basic, special, unique, unique type of character. But yeah, he can have an ability where he could probably die and come back or something. Who knows? Uh, Keck, these next three, Kex, Brawlor, and Kelborn, were all KOTOR 2 Mandalorian Crusaders under Mandalore the Preserver. And so they would just be encompassing the three different variations of the red, yellow, and blue Crusader armor. Uh, next is Cassus Fett. 
He is a unique. Uh, he is a lieutenant to Mandalore the Ultimate. It makes sense for him to be in the game, especially since his armor does show up in Kotor One. Probably not this exact armor, but a different type from the looks of it. But hey, why not? Next would be Demigol. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I never knew how to pronounce this guy's name. Uh, but he is a super crazy. He would be definitely a healer, healer or support. I would say more healer of the Mandalorians because uh, he was like some biologist, sci crazy mad bio biology scientist type person. He did some experiments on Dirge, uh, at least from my knowledge. I'm not as knowledge with him, but he can have some cool, weird little synergies. Like if an enemy dies, he gains some turn meter kind of thing. Definitely, definitely unique. And last is Roland Dyer. Just because his armor is unique and it feels like he would definitely be a, pos a potential Mandalorian that could come into the game. Um, but for the most part, I think the big one for sure would be Candorous and Mandalore the Preserver. Two variations. I think it'd be awesome. But other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about uh, these characters coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Would you want to see Mandalorians make it into Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Me personally, I would. I've been waiting. We already have essentially five already in the game, thanks to Jango Fett's release. Two of them, of course, would more likely just stay Bounty Hunter-esque leaderships, whereas uh, at least, um, oh, what's his name? Ga Gar Saxon would at least have some sort of Mandalorian Imperial synergy. More Empire than Mandalorian, but hey, we'll see what happens. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. really appreciate all those that watch the videos I make, and you guys have a wonderful day.